Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hey, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 6. Normally, guys, if I think about the season, you know, the right way, we should have the big time jump that we are all waiting for during this episode, right? Like, you know what I said for the last episode, the fact that each time to have that time jump at the beginning of each episode, it was logical with what the writers they wanted to do to take the characters to the point, you know, that they wanted to have for them, but also to explain how they evolved and why at the end they're gonna be like that and for the entire show after that they're gonna be like that to explain their backgrounds, to justify the decisions that they're gonna take after that and all but at the same time all of these time jumps you know it was making it harder for the viewers to connect with these characters because each time we were discovering in fact new characters because during the time that we were not with them, they evolved, they lived stuff, so each time we had to reconnect with them, so it was making it harder. Don't worry, I connected with some of them, but because of that it was harder and at some point it needs to end. Why do I think that the big time jump is gonna happen right now? You know that I'm not watching trailers for episodes, so I don't know if we're gonna have it right now or not. But for me, it would be logical because of how the last episode ended. Like, the king who fell, you know, on the ground like that. I think that that city died. Like, I can't imagine for him to come back after that. Or maybe he didn't die, but he is so close to death, like, if we have the big time jump right now, I can't imagine that the king is gonna survive for, what, six more years into that else state, you know? It would be, it would be weird. We'll see. But we had him on the floor, you know, at the end of the last episode. At finally Rhaenyra's wedding and also how it happened, the fact that the boyfriend of her husband just died, the fact that your boyfriend just left you because he killed that other boyfriend and all like how it happened clearly you're gonna be married and you're gonna you're not gonna have the little guilty pleasure that you thought that you would have maybe they're gonna have new boyfriends each one of them but how it happened clearly it happened it was so sad for both of them so bad that yes you know i can't imagine that right now we're gonna have a tiny time jump and we're gonna have them discovering each other during their wedding i think that we need to have the big time jump so maybe rhaenyra is already gonna have some kids or uh, stuff like that like for me we need to have her on the throne or really close to the throne the last episodes of this season they need to end like that you know that the question of who is gonna sit on that throne that's the big question of this show you know between Rhaenyra, between Daemon, between the princess who was never a queen like it's that House of the Dragon and it was already that Game of Thrones who is gonna sit on the throne so that's why I think that the king needs to die or is already dead and we're gonna have discussions about which Targaryen is gonna sit on the throne for the end of the season so at the end of the season that's gonna be the decision and people are gonna declare war to each other or something like that a big time jump for Rhaenyra that would be good because of that because of the wedding because of the question of the throne I think also that it would be good for Alicent because the, the girl that's it She's a woman now, she's not a kid anymore, she's not obeying blindly to people anymore. Her dad left, so she doesn't have his pressure on her shoulders anymore. The king, she discovered that the king betrayed her, that Rhaenyra betrayed her, so she's really 
like fighting for herself now that declaration of war well, you know wearing green that was really cool that was a cool moment and that was also what i was expecting since a long time for alicent to not be pushed you know by anyone pressured by anyone to take decisions by herself and that's what she did already at first you know with Queenston, the fact that he told her what happened and she decided to, to not punish him and she decided to take that secret and all. For me, it was more a question like she was surprised about it because her, she knows the secret about Damon and she didn't say it to Princeton and that was already so great like it proves you know that she's a nice person the fact that she didn't say it to Princeton it would have been a way to do something against Rhaenyra to say the truth to Princeton and she didn't do it and some of you on the comments were more like in fact she kept that secret because she thought that at some point she could use it at the end it's gonna be that she can use that secret but I don't think that during that moment she truly thought of that we saw how shocked she was and she was really making the puzzle about what she knows about Demon, what she just heard about Crinston, what it means for Rhaenyra, what she did, also what it means for the lies that everyone told her. So for sure, for the girl, it was rough during that moment, so I don't think that she thought that far. But you're right with the fact that yes, she can use that secret. But at the same time, at the end, you know, Princeton, he wanted to kill himself and she stopped him and I said it, I think that it's the best option for both of them. Her, she needs a protector, she knows that herself and her kids, they are in danger, that maybe, you know, people are gonna be against her, are not gonna recognize her as the queen and stuff like that, like, she needs protection. He can offer her that protection and even more because he's ashamed of what he did and he wants to redeem himself, he wants to have his honor back. So to protect the queen, it's a good way to do it. And for both of them also it's great because they know that they can trust each other because they were honest with each other. Alison, she didn't say it about Damon, but you know, he told her the truth. She didn't judge him, punish him for that. So. It's beginning well, you know, it's a relationship which is beginning well. Same for them, I think that a big time jump, that big time jump that we are all expecting, it could be great to have it right now. And for Damon, Damon, you know, during the last episode, uh, he's lost, <laughs> like clearly. I have the impression that the boy is lost, even if he's doing stuff which are really important, which are really decisive, like what he did with the stepstones and he returned to, to the realm like being the hero he was recognized by, for what he did but at the end of the same episode he ended on the floor because his brother knew what he did with Rhaenyra so you know it's really like like that for Demon and for the last episode what he did to his wife, like to kill her like that, it's really like him taking the control of the situation, having a plan on mind, all of that. And at the same time, at the end, he's so close to Rhaenyra in front of everyone and he's disappearing like that when in fact she could have needed him or something like that. So for me, the boy, I mean the boy, the guy, He's a little lost with what he wants truly, what he can do also truly because maybe he, he wants really to, to marry Rhaenyra because of his feelings but also because of the throne but at the end he's not really doing stuff for that you know to conquer her heart and to conquer the throne <laughs> so I think that he's lost be between what he wants and what he truly wants like really what he's ready to fight for, what he can do, what he truly can do, again it's not the same thing, uh, Demon uh, like that. So maybe a big time jump it would be also helpful for him to, to you know, organize his thoughts, organize his intentions, organize his plan. If he really wants to make a plan to have the throne, 
you need to do more than one action each time, one brave action and you think that it's gonna change everything, it's gonna change all of the situation. No! You need really to prepare something step by step and maybe that's the time that you need to do that. Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, the big time jump right now, it would be great also for the rhythm of the show. Like I said, we're close to the end of this season. Even if, you know, um, I'm gonna be a little sad to say goodbye to these versions of Rhaenyra and Alicent. In particular, Alicent, if I have to be honest with that. Even if I love Rhaenyra, this actress, I think that she, she played that character really well. I think that the actress who played Alicent was really amazing. I think that she played a lot of different emotions, situations and she was really really great and maybe also because it was easier for me to connect with the girl. Like I was proud of Rhaenyra a lot of time but I was worried and proud of Alicent even more. Do you understand what I mean? So maybe that's why also I, I have that little thing for Alison, the character, but also for the actress who played her and I'm gonna be a little sad, you know, to not see her again. Maybe during some flashbacks we're gonna see her again, it would be cool. I'm seeing all of that and I don't even know if it's gonna be real during this episode. That <laughs> big time jump, we'll see. I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Remember that if you want to have a Patreon to have these episodes of House of the Dragon each time one day earlier and with an extended or for action part. For action part it's really when I can't cut into it. For now I didn't put any for House of the Dragon and I put extended ones. But because it's long episodes, you know, each time they were really long uh, the extended direction part. So it's advantages that I'm giving to you on my Patreon to encourage you to join me. If you can be interested, you know, to support me because I'm a little reactor and I'm saying it also since some videos, September and also October, they're gonna be rough months, you know, for me. So if you were hesitating since a long time to join me or not, maybe it's a good time to, to do it and we'll see. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you can't, don't be sorry, don't blame yourself or stuff like that. I totally understand it. Believe me, I totally understand it. And you can still support me right now on YouTube by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, that kind of stuff. It can help even more because HBO, they are really not playing fair with the reactors with House of the Dragon. It means that they are lying about the fact that, okay, it's okay for you to post these videos and all, and one week later, ta-da, we are blocking it, we are taking all of the tips, and you can't do anything about it, so... If you have told me that earlier, maybe I would have edited my video, you know, so it could please you, so it could be okay with you. I want to play fair with you, I'm following the fair use rules, so be fair also with us, and don't lie to us, it would be great. HBO. <laughs> Stop. Let's go for this. Episode 6. It's a big time jump. We have it. You're giving birth. Come on, my dear. A boy? Princess! You're still a princess. Oh, the parallel with her mother, you know, who couldn't have a boy, Elsie. Your queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Why? Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, that's why normally you should stay in bed. Oh, I'm sorry for a girl, you know it. You're gonna lose blood. You're a good marriage. You're supporting her. As a... Okay, I'm glad. At least for that, for both of you. Okay. What happy news this morning. Indeed, your grace. You're still alive after all of this time. Where is my grandson? Can we call an unusual name for Valerian. Uh, yes, it's more a Balrassian name. Nose. 
You don't believe that he has his nose. <laughs> Okay, you're still close. And she was afraid of what Alicent would do. <laughs> ah, you know the truth. You're only making boys? So how are she still introduced to Geoffrey? As his fellow? He doesn't speak I Valeria. We should learn. Dracaris. Dracaris Vermax. Kids bullying each other? What a surprise! He knows also the truth. Not to mention decency itself. Consequences of an allegation about the one you tore out would be dire. But you're all choosing to lie. You know, for her it has to be Do difficult to also. Today. She flaunts the privilege of her inheritance without shame. She expects everyone in the Red Keep to deny the truth our rights for plainly see. And the king of her father, he knows. I see the normal excuses for her. They all do. Oof. Okay. You're talking about the princess. That was beneath me and Grace. I have to leave. But in the end, honor and decency will prevail. We need to hew to that and to each other. You have that sense of honor, both of you. You don't have that sense of honor. Fall, 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 fall. <laughs> oh, your mother surprising you during that moment. <laughs> we are family. You may carve them about as you wish your own, but in the world, we must defend our own. When you will ascend the throne, and Joseris Targaryen will be her heir. Not you. So, oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short sighted if Renera comes into power? Very it just could be forfeit. In as well. You are the challenge. You are the challenge, Egon. Simply by living and breathing. How many do you have? I wish to offer you a permanent residence here in Pentos. You would have your freedom of the city and the harbour, as befits your world station. In exchange of what? Lease and its allies rise again. The Triarchy has made common cause with Colin Martell of Dawn. It turned the sights of the Breen, I'm thinking of <laughs> My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this. My gratitude will fill your cup and overflow it. Protection? Yes. It's the only thing that you're interested in? We've already extended our visit. It's the most generous offer. And while we will certainly entertain. 
I don't think that he gave up on having those friends one day, but he needs a better plan, step by step. Can you think of Free to do as we please. Welcome to the test. We are without responsibility. Political scheme. The end is shifting the loyalties and succession. It's none of ours. We are the blood of old Valeria. We don't belong here. Valeria is gone. We don't belong anywhere. You really gave up? I want my daughters to be raised in their homeland with their family according to their birthright. At my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. He gave up on his ambition to sit on the throne to have his rights and all. You did not. Let's see if you can touch me. You and your brother. <laughs> A lot of moves, a lot of noise, and at the end. Weapons are bought. Listen to your dad. Question my method of instruction, sir. Or I merely suggest that method be applied to all your pupils. You know the truth, and you don't respect him because of that. Just sharing. Who's called that? Elder son against elder son. I know you've never seen true battle style, but when Steve has drawn a fair match, isn't something anyone should expect. <laughs> Each of them, they have the champ. They are just kids. This is what you teach, Cole. Cool thing. For the weaker opponent. Your interest in the princess training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion to a cousin. Princeton. Or a son. That's what you wanted, Greenstar. You have laid us open to accusations of an uglier treachery. And what's treachery? Is that? Don't play the fool with me, boy. Oh, they all know. Princess Rhaenyra is an offense to put me in exile and death. For you, for her, for the children. The willful blindness of the father towards his child. Since a long time, all of them they played to be blind. Kristen would say the same.